Dun 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 Hello, welcome back to another Getting Projects Done with me, Chris. I'm joined today by the Barfing Sheep. Hello. <laughs> Introduce yourself there, Barfing. Uh, I'm the Barfing Sheep. You are the Barfing Sheep. What exactly is a barfing sheep other than literally a sheep barfing? Uh, I was doing agriculture studies at the time when I made the name. <laughs> and there was this one sheep that sounded very different than the others. He sounded like he was barfing? Yes, profusely. <laughs> All right, we busting out the wet palette. We, uh, we're getting back to work. We've got the um, scum direct. We're mostly happy with where the flesh is at. I started working on the uh, quills and everything like that on this guy. Uh, I'm going to jump over to the cloth and start uh, basically beginning that. And yeah, because that's the next big area on this guy. Then, of course, the, the metals, the bronze and everything like that. We still haven't even touched like all the chains and other doodads all over this guy. But that's okay. We're... Uh, we're just going to continue to plug along. Plug? Plug along? What's the word I'm looking for there? Pro no. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Get things started with some Black Templar contrast. I think we'll add a drop or two of thinner and we'll lay it out and blend it out feather it out I should say you know what I meant I think by this point a lot of you know what I'm talking about you know what I think we should start developing our own painter language for words that are just kind of normal and then we can make up words and just confuse people what do you think oh, that's good you're kind of an agreeable chap, ain't you? Yeah, no, no, I honestly think it's a good idea. <laughs> if I would have disagreed, I would have said so. <laughs> could, you could, feel free to say, uh, no, Chris, it sounds like a shite idea. <laughs> yeah, no, you're a fucking idiot. Not you're, you're a fucking idiot. Exactly. <laughs> I, I welcome any and all constructive criticism. Chris, you're shite. <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm gonna take two drops of black templar throw it out onto the palette add a drop of medium give it a quick little mixy boo oh let's slap my ah, slap it right here yeah yeah do you play with contrast paints Me? yeah yeah you Me like them oh yeah very good time savers they are good time shavers, yes. Well, instead of going base shade and then <clears throat> layering on top, I just slap on and then I layer what I need. And I recently started doing the uh, undercoating thing. The undercoating thing. Yeah, to change the value of the contrast paint. Oh, like uh, being mindful of what you're priming the uh, model in and everything? Yes. Gotcha. Yep, that's, that's, a, that's a very good... Uh, point of attack as far as you know getting your colors down and everything like that I uh, wholeheartedly support that all right now are we getting bored of this project yet I mean I'm not I'm not bored but I take a nice long breaks and then I think oh I'll do this and I'll do that any of you find yourselves in a similar boat where you're just kind of like yeah, I'll take a break and come back to it. Or do you find yourself like, if I don't get it, you know, keep working on it, it'll never get done? I've got three projects going on right now. <laughs> so I can do that thing, just take a break and then, so I don't get bored with it. Right. Kim, hey, hey. No, I really like it. <laughs> Because right, right now I'm hitting a point where like, I want to keep moving. I want to get this project done. And I am... It's getting a little 
disgusting. Um, I'm getting to the point where I kind of just want to start really plowing forward with some some of these little steps. Um, like, for example, doing this transition on the cloth as it pertains to my overall vision for this thing. Not that I'm talking about shortcuts or anything like that. But I was really into it. If I was really wanted to push the idea of the shortcuts, um, I pretty much just uh, airbrush a lot of this, right? As uh, airbrushing this stuff, you know, you can power through it pretty darn fast, right? For the most part. Like the big blocky areas. Do you do any airbrushing, Barfing? Uh, I save it for big blocky areas and uh, troop choices. The troop don't choices? Need that much action. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a similar kind of kind of guy. I, um, if I can get it done in by airbrushing it really quickly, I really don't see any problem with doing that. You know. I know there's plenty of folk out there who think of airbrushing as cheating or anything like that and I don't really subscribe to that newsletter yeah no I, I don't think there's any cheating in painting no no at all no there's efficiencies but cheating no I don't think so it's a kind of a antiquated mode of thinking I think and it limits you as far as what your potential can be as far as with where you go with color and where how you handle particular situations because for example let's say I really want to bring out this texture on the flesh well we can individually color in and you know as I've been doing kind of just laying color down and you know being very neat and controlled about it or we could have simply just dry brushed it and got a fairly similar look using the same colors but just you know an effective use of dry brushing is that cheating to use dry brushing in such an instance I don't think so it's just being efficient otherwise we'll be painting this stuff till the uh, till the cows come home as they say The only person who really can cheat when you're painting is yourself. But if you're happy with the result, did you ever cheat? Yeah, exactly, right? That's exactly it. And that it really that that is the the thing, right? Is um when when you're when you adopt this mindset of this is a cheat, you limit yourself because you have a bias against certain techniques like dry brushing or any of these other things and it's like no just whatever helps you get the stuff done like isn't that the goal is to get our stuff painted i don't understand and have fun doing so and have fun right a lot of miniature painters are a funny breed and not haha -ha funny peculiar peculiar yes that's a that's a much gentler word peculiar no I, I, I just don't I can't get on board that idea anything that limits your artistic potential I, I cannot endorse Everything is fair game. Like even this right now, I'm sitting here laying Black Templar down. I've got it really, really thinned out, so I'm just putting out little thin layers, glazing it. When really I could just as easily wet blend the surface, you know, I could, there's all sorts of ways I can deal with it, right? Since we are doing these videos and I'm streaming and such, I figured I'd go through some of these longer form techniques. 
mainly because I think some people think that uh, all I do is airbrush or, you know, just quickly get things done. For the most part, I do, but I view it as an exercise in efficiency. Yeah. If I only had the airbrush when I painted 50 uh, Blood Angels. Just lay down base colors on them. Yeah. Now it's all rather silly. It's all rather silly. Unnecessary and silly. Especially when there's so many other factors that can come into play that can limit your vision as far as like how you're going to go about a particular project. You know, colors to use, surfaces being painted, and, you know, why limit yourself even further by choice of techniques or, you know, things like that? It just doesn't make a lot of sense. Then, of course, the other one that bugs me is when I see people discouraging other people from employing particular techniques or paints or what have you and they just kind of like you know no you, you don't do this that's that's for noobs i hate that kind of stuff like everybody is automatically at some unified level of where they are as they progress as a painter like it's ridiculous it's ridiculous it's unnecessary it's elitist gate gatekeeping is what it is. And I don't stand for that. That kind of thinking doesn't interest me. In fact, a lot of times it shows the limitations of others' thought processes to me. And then all that. That's a very nice way of putting it. Yeah, it's just, you know. Again, it's just, yeah, it's. Like, why limit yourself? There's so many different places you could take this stuff, you know? No limits, man, no limits. Kim, I use an airbrush on the wings of Indastra. A couple of days ago, an airbrushing must be learned like any painting. How can that be cheating? Yeah, exactly. It's, yeah, airbrushing is, is totally a, a skill. Yes, you can achieve things very quickly and easily with it, but it requires a lot of patience and practice. And, you know, there's so many things that got to go along with that. It's not just as, you know, oh, I've got an airbrush now, so I'm going to be an expert painter. Ha, ha, ha. You know what I mean? Like, nobody's saying that. But yet, that seems to be the, the, the sentiment behind what happens when somebody picks up an airbrush. Yeah, they're going to go a little ham with the uh, OSL effects and everything like that, but who isn't? Who doesn't, right? I know when I early, early on in my airbrushing, I was, yeah, we'll, we'll airbrush, we'll, or we'll, um, we'll do some OSL, we'll do headlights and stuff like that on the tanks, and we're, ah, we'll go ham and blah, you know. Yeah, you do that for a little bit. It's just like when you pick up a new car and you just floor on the gas pedal and just go as fast as you can, you know? Or am I alone in that? <laughs> <laughs> or am I encouraging people to speed? <laughs> I'm getting in trouble now. <laughs> getting in trouble. I don't drive. I know how to drive, but I am uh, legally not allowed to because I don't have a license. <clears throat> have you ever gone drag racing? Uh, yes, on a <clears throat> snowmobile. Oh, really? <laughs> Oof. Uh, here's, here's a bit of a horror story. 
just to uh, stay stay within your subject, but to change the tone. Um, up where I'm from, there's it's famously uh, a lot of outdoor winter activities and uh, snowmobiling is a big thing. Skiing, snow, snowmobiling, stuff like that. So anyway, in my territory, um, there's uh, snowmobile trails and stuff like that, like from people like uh, from town and everything. Anyway, old fence, you know, one of those wire fences. Yeah, you can see where this is going, right? And yep. yeah, they didn't see it. it was, they were like half in the bag, apparently. And they, um, they hit that wire going full tilt on a trail. And yeah, it didn't end well for them. In fact, the ending was... Go was ahead. It really bad or just uh, bad? They were decaffeinated. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good fast. Oh yeah. Well, it was like a thin little wire. It was like, I guess they missed the turn or something like that, and so they were on a trail that actually wasn't part of the trail, but like other people, locals were using it, and so they saw the the, the tracks, and so they followed it, and they actually went off the official trail, and uh, yeah, there was like an old fence or whatever, and I guess. The last people to go over it or whatever, the fence was down. Then it must have sprung back up. And, yeah, it was just, like, one little wire. And they hit it. And, yeah. They were decaffeinated. Awesome. Yeah. Like I said, I was going to change the I was going to change the tone here, but... <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, it's a little... Spooky. Yeah, it's a little fucking grim, I know. So make, it might make you a little leery going out into the woods late at night on a snowmobile. Oh, no, not me. Oh, no, you're just going to give her shit the entire time or what? <laughs> uh, Go so fast you turn plaid? Full send. <laughs> As they say. But yeah. Or a reasonable full send. Right. I ain't, I ain't your dad. I ain't going to tell you what to do, so. <laughs> Won't you be my father, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> Huckahey. Really uh, detailed, and this is looking very cool. Yeah, thank you. Kim, I'm putting on the final brush strokes on Indastra's base, and after that, she is done, and all of the Dominion box is finished. Wow. there You are probably in a, um, a very small percentile of people on this planet who are probably fully gone through that box without just, like, you know, just slapping some paint, like, just a base coat on. Because Kim, you know, goes through, like, all the steps as far as painting his miniatures, and, yeah, the whole box. I am... <laughs> Yeah, it is, it's, it is commendable. It's very commendable. Mind you, the Kim does a lot of painting. He is a painting fiend. Since he lives in the north, what else are you going to do? Well, yeah, well, I mean... It's like snowmobile and painting. <laughs> That's what I would do. I mean, you guys are in the same country, so I, I, I can't speak to what people do, but... <laughs> No, he lives in a he lives in a nice big city with lots of stuff in it. <laughs> they call it the uh, Paris of the North. Oh, really? Don't know why, but sure. <laughs> is there an Eiffel Tower? Nope. Uh, there is a very fancy cathedral. Interesting. Yeah, it's like a big angular thing. Very easy to make as a gingerbread house. <laughs> now, would that be a bit of a cliche, given you guys are so darn close to the North Pole? Uh, no. <laughs> no? No, we just have, <laughs> no, we, I, my mum and I would just have it as a tradition to make something from the, something North related, since we live so far away from it. Gotcha. And homage to home. Don't know what we're doing this day, but yeah. Hey, 
any um, festivals and stuff like that that are unique to uh, you guys that go on in the winter or in the summer, whatever. We've got a lobster festival down here. Oh, that sounds fun. I like a lobster. Lobsters. Yeah, it's really good. Well, because like I, I'm just like I was just thinking of because like I knew somebody who's from Iceland, and they had like a, they, where they used to, um, you know, festival when they'd uh, go after all the puffins, and gobble them up, I guess. But yeah, you know those little birds. Oh yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know. I was just wondering. I was I was just thinking like you know, I was just thinking like what is life like in Norway. I mean, I'm sure it feels very normal for you, but for somebody like me going over there and, you know, having to peek around and be like, what the fuck is all this, you know? Well, I think as a Canadian, you'd find some similarities. Yeah, I'd imagine. Um, in, like like winter festivals and stuff. Yeah. Oh, they have, uh, in uh, where Kim lives, they have like an outdoor cinema made out of a giant fucking snow wall. Oh, really? That's that is pretty cool. Kim, why don't you fucking tell me about that? The fuck, man? Fucking leave the brother hanging. <laughs> now Kim's gonna be like, fuck you, man. <laughs> That's ours. It's our thing. <laughs> uh, okay, hey. Nasty, but hey, drag racing is fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um... That the snowmobiling and stuff, yeah. Getting in the car, going really, really fast. I remember when the um, the new Camaro first came out. My cousin picked one up, and uh, there's an in my home territory. There's a nice stretch of road. It's perfectly flat, straight for about oh, I don't know, two or three kilometers. And uh, yeah, it's it's at the time it was was it quiet yet? I don't know. I can't remember. Because they diverted traffic around our area. But anyway, yeah. Um, just open that thing up on the on that stretch of road. That was a lot of fun. I like driving fast. My first car, um, after like moving out of the house and stuff, uh, was an 84 Firebird. That was the wrong car to get for a 18-year-old boy. Did it turn into Mad Max? Yeah. Daddy. Yeah, it, it was a mistake getting that car. Got me in trouble a couple times. But it was just too much fun. <clears throat> I used to call it the Falcon. Um, because every time I would give it gas, like really hard, she would either just kick into light speed or clunk right out and stall so yeah she was, was it a, a did it have a turbocharger no 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 she, she wasn't for street racing or anything like that she was just you know stock but uh yeah it was thinking if the turbo couldn't give enough air in it was an older carburetor oh okay yeah it was just still a carburetor man <laughs> It was an 84, man. Oh, yeah. I'm paying attention, I swear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was, it was a fun car. I had lots of lots of fun in that thing. Got into trouble, of course, but that's okay. When, when I say trouble, I mean, like, with the law, not, like, with women or anything like that. <laughs> Why not both? <laughs> well. No. <laughs> At the time I owned the vehicle, I was I was with my, my girlfriend, who would become my wife, so. It was oh, like, yeah, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I've been married uh, 20, 25 years, 26 years. So, That's a lot of years. Yeah, it's a long time. Um, 
I like sometimes when I encounter some people and they, they start giving me marital advice and I'm kind of like, uh, I've been married like 20 some years. <laughs> I think I'm okay. Yeah, I think I'm okay. I'm not saying it, we're perfect, but I'm okay. And that usually shuts people up too whenever they start getting onto the conversations. It's like, yeah, how long you been married? Oh yeah, yeah, been married longer. Shut up. Just shut your cake hole, Yoko. If you're willing to take the time to glaze in a bunch of these little things it is a really nice way of creating depth on a figure just you know glazing with these contrast colors <clears throat> pretty much all i use them for i don't really use them like you know how games workshop often recommends to use them like just you know one coat and slap it on i tend to just glaze with them or chuck them in the airbrush and glaze with them. It is kind of limiting. Good cinematics. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, good old medium. Yeah. You don't even try to do that. Um, the medium is really good. If you, like, I don't often um, recommend people, you know, decant their uh, Citadel paint pots. But with, like, contrast and stuff. Um, you could be forgiven for putting it in a dropper bottle. Um, the mediums, 100% should be in a dropper bottle, though. Because you run the risk, like leaving it in the paint pots, you run the risk of contaminating it. And I don't know why Games Workshop, especially with mediums and stuff like that, like they don't automatically put them in dropper bottles so that you don't run the risk of contaminating it. <clears throat> Those are the only things that I would recommend GW... Um, you know, change as far as how they go about things. But I'm not about to start telling G-dubs what to do. <laughs> That'll never work. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, where the hell am I? Kim! It's not anything like Paris here. Four model left of the Kill Team box. I have done all the Krieg, most of the Orcs. Cool, wow. They actually build the screen in ice every year for the film fest around Christmas. That's cool. If you ever go again, Kim, um, take, snap me a couple pics and share in the Discord because I'd like to see what that looks like. Because you never know. I might make my way over there someday. Who knows? Yeah, that would be cool. Well, I'd, you know, I'd like to check out more of like Europe and stuff like that. I mean, it'd be fun. I was, I was uh, invited to go over to a Games Workshop there a few years back and just saw just a tiny portion of you know a sliver of, of life in the uk and i mean i would love to have checked out like scotland and ireland and you know wish i i, I wish i had more time there because it would have been fantastic but i probably would get myself in trouble or something who knows who knows get deported The yeah, only place in the uh, Isles over there I haven't visited is uh, Wales. I don't know if that's any different than England or Ireland. Uh, I, would, I, I would assume that they would say yes. <laughs> yeah. I would assume they're going to say it's very different. Um, but yeah, no, I, like just checking all that shit out, you know. I'd love to check out like uh, Belgium and France, and uh, you know, head over to the Netherlands and Germany, and you know, checked all these places out. Especially because I'm also a bit of a history buff as well. And um, First World War, there's a famous uh, area called Bello Wood, which is you know, Ooh. my last name, right? And so I'd like to check that out. Apparently, it was a famous battle. Way back when. 
But yeah, there's like a, a war memorial there. Bella Wood. Battle of Bella Wood. Okay. And hey, Kim, thanks for the connect and spoke to Dave last night. Chris should have a contact from them, hopefully, so a collab. Uh, if Chris is up to it, Dave has been to the States with me and met many of my native friends, including West Duty, etc. Oh, cool. You know West Duty? That's cool. Um, West Duty was one of my dad's favorite actors. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I already talked to, uh, to Jazz. We, we did a little talk. We may talk again if he wants more input. But yeah. Oh, who that now? Oh, it's the boot. What's happening? Okay. I didn't know we're, I didn't know we we're on silent mode. Get back to work. Oh, yeah. Well, I was I was reading comments here. Um Kim, thanks man. Yeah, I know. Uh Chris sent me a pic of him talking to Jazz. Yeah. Yeah, I posted in Discord because I had to get like a little picture of just uh, jazz on the screen. It was kind of fun. It's it very cool that he reached out, and you know, uh, I wholeheartedly support um, what he's doing and how he's going about it. I I one hundred percent agree with how he wants to go about it. Do you, do you follow him, Boop? No, I, I don't follow. I have no idea what you're talking about. Jazza, yeah, he does. Um, well, he, he, he primarily it seemed like he was doing like a lot of art stuff. Like it looks like his main channel was like a lot of art. Uh, but then he's the done. Australian yeah, yeah. Uh, tabletop time, and so uh, he's doing his own custom Space Marine chapter, 3D parts yeah. and stuff like that. Well, I think somebody posted that. Yeah, like, yeah, the, yeah. The, the bears or something like that. Yeah. The, the space space bears and so yeah he wanted the more of a Native American type of vibe for them and so he wanted to like basically uh, you know <clears throat> see yeah. what was you know uh, acceptable or you know what I mean like you know because obviously in this day and age you know a lot of people are very concerned about being you know culturally insensitive and it's like I said it's, it's a good thing that he he is reaching out like that to you know try and get some first hand information as far as you know acceptability of of ideas and you know and of course you know uh i told him like really the main thing is that you know as far as you know um being inspired by another culture that is not your own um i don't i don't think there's anything wrong with it as long as as long as you're not like spaghetti westerning it i guess well as long as you're not perpetuating stereotypes negative stereotypes right and that that's the big one so yeah and i so don't use, go ahead boop i was gonna say so don't use like i said don't use old westerns as your <laughs> yeah yeah anything you learn about native culture from western movies yeah don't don't do that especially old ones yeah really old ones well shit even uh what's his name there the the, the famous uh native american he wasn't even native american he was italian Wait, who? Um, I can't remember what the hell the guy's name is. The actor. But apparently he he lived the life, though. He he wasn't Native American. He portrayed Native American on movies and stuff like that, like with John Wayne and shit. Uh, he, he, was, he was Italian by birth, but apparently his wife was First Nations, and, you know, he had kids and everything like that, and he, he lived his, his day-to-day life um, like Native American. So it's Bob Hope. Okay. No, not Bob Hope. Bob Hope. Yeah, that was a funny one. In Bob Hope's like movie. Oh yeah, yeah. One of them. Yeah, no, I I looked them up. I I typed in Italian replace. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. I've seen this guy. Yes. Yeah. Anybody who's familiar with that classic uh, image of you know people throwing garbage on the highway and you know there's a Native American man standing on the road. Uh, with a tear running down his eye, that's that's him. Oh, that guy. Yeah, he's he's not Native American. He's he's Italian. I'm pretty sure Italian, or maybe Sicilian. I can't remember. But, but he's he's Italian. Yeah. yeah. Well, I I don't want to say you know he's Sicilian and Italian, or you know get the two clumped up because I don't want to be you know disrespectful. 
but yeah. So if you can avoid going that kind of route, I think all the better. He is Sicilian? Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, like, yeah see, and so like I don't want to be, you know, insulting anybody here, so yeah. No, the, the, the wiki just said Italian, but then you scroll down like three more paragraphs and it goes, oh no, he's Sicilian. <laughs> right, exactly, right? Like that kind of discounts like their, yeah, um, their own identities really, right? Yeah. No, but no, we had we had a good conversation. We talked for about I don't know forty minutes or so, really. Um, we recorded it, of course. Um, whether or not he uses it in the video, I have no idea. But it was cool to talk to him and everything. Uh, Huckahay, hey, Chris, we have a model of Fords in Australia called Falcons, but no more Ford or GM production here, which is very sad. Yeah, and I imagine, well, because, yeah, because uh, the Falcon, is that not the car Mad Max drove in the first Mad Max movie? Is that not a Falcon? I want to say it is. I'm probably wrong, but, yeah. Uh, Kim, me and my wife have been married since 777. Oof, 777. That's um, Mark and Nurgle? Is seven the sacred number? No, it'd be, no a seven is corn. Because a sevenfold path or whatever. No, I thought the eight was corn. Oh, it's eightfold. No, you're right. I'm stupid. <laughs> Don't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> seven is Nurgle, yeah. Yeah, it's seven's a, Nurgle. Yeah, seven's yeah. Nurgle. Um, so is it, it the is. plague rains come in packs of seven? Yeah. Something Which like I that. thought was neat, but uh. I think they're just trying to diss you. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah, it's it's kind of hilarious, right? Especially like with um, like back in the day, Guardians, Elder Guardians used to come in boxes of five, but you could feel them in squads of threes and multiples of three. And it's like, well, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. give them fives. Field plague marines in fives, but most people field it in ten. But the pack gives you seven. <laughs> yeah exactly it's like that's some bullshit <laughs> okay hey kim that's uh great yep uh josh is really cool guy so hope chris is up for it yeah no yeah it was, it was real nice um uh, whether or not we have a chit chat again about anything i don't it's really up to him i mean um if he's got questions or has an idea or something like that yeah and the old adage of one of my old co-workers i'm here all night <laughs> <laughs> Kim, I will remember to take pics of the screen when they put it up again. It's just after Christmas normally. Oh, okay, yeah, please, please do, Kim. Uh, I'd like to see what that looks like. That sounds really, really, really beautiful, really. Um, same with um, the idea. I, I, It might be Norway. I thought maybe it was Iceland. Somebody up there, anyway. But um, the uh, hotel in ice. Was, was it Sweden? Was it Sweden? No, we have... I'm not sure. If, I think we have an ice hotel and an ice bar in different locations. Oh, really? So you guys got all that ice on lockdown, for God's sakes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the uh, ice bar is uh, in my hometown. Oh, really? That's cool. In the north, yeah. I say hometown, but I didn't live there for very long. They put the run to you or what? No, we moved down when I was very young. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it never leaves. <laughs> Thought maybe. I may have left, but it never does. <laughs> Thought maybe they put the put the run to you or something. Chased you out of town. Oh no. Torches <laughs> and pitchforks. <laughs> this guy's an absolute monster. <laughs> uh, where the hell am I? Uh okay. Hey. Dave is certainly keen and keen for another trip to the U.S. and have a go up to Canada to another bro on res. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, Kim, it'd be cool if they do a collab. His main channel is Hobby Art Stuff and has almost 6 million followers on the Tabletop Time, has 170K. Yeah, he, he's really huge following on his main, main account on YouTube. Yeah, it's really quite amazing, really. And I had no idea that uh, Buddy, who does the uh, sword talks, uh, Shad, Shadowversity, I think it's called, Shadowversity, uh, that, that they're 
related. I thought that was really wild. That's his brother, right? Yeah. I thought that was really cool. I had no idea because I, I, I'm familiar with both of them. And yeah. And uh, <laughs> here they are. Freaking related. And that leads me to wonder how many Aussies are actually related that are, you know, well known and stuff. Do you guys know each other? <laughs> that stupid do you know Hugh Jackman yeah exactly do you know Hugh Jackman <laughs> it just sounded like a complete idiot right <laughs> do, do you do you have him on speed dial does he come for Christmas yeah I don't even know if speed dial is still a thing is speed dialing still a thing I don't even know I got my mates on speed dial. Well, it, it's basically called favorites, isn't it? No, I don't know. Let me check. I don't call people, so oh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never call people either. I'm, I'm a bit of a recluse, so, you know. No, it's, it's very nice when you're dying. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do have speed dial numbers. Ooh, cool. <laughs> well, well, I, uh, the uh, ability to have speed dial numbers. But yeah, that time I uh, almost fucking bought it from the blood clots. He was the first thing on my uh, contact on my list. I just pressed, like, are you fucking home? I need to go. <laughs> Good thing he was home. <laughs> Why didn't you call your mum? Because I don't have her on speed dial. <laughs> yeah. I can't be bothered to remember a number. Oh, I remember it. For some reason. Are you like Rain Man with uh, phone numbers? Uh, certain phone numbers, yeah. Like what? One eight hundred numbers or what? No, no, no. My, uh, <laughs> old, when we when we used to have landline, <laughs> back in the days of yore. My wife is uh, like a Rain Man with phone numbers. She can remember all sorts of numbers. She remembers numbers from way back in the day. I'm like, how the hell do you even remember that? I could not be bothered. A lot of times, even just interacting with people is just a little bit too much for me. <laughs> I mean, like, this is fine. I'm fine with this. But, uh, you know. <laughs> it makes me sound like a miserable old man, doesn't it? <laughs> Get off my lawn, damn kids. Hey, buddy, get up my lawn. <laughs> was that you trying to do a Canadian accent? I don't know where I went with that one. I was stretching. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey there, bud, get off my lawn. No, I can't do it. <sighs> oh, okay. I think we're ready to start. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. Uh, where the hell mind these comments here? Greenleaf terrain. There he is. My marine chapter is all transgender, son. Woke marines. <laughs> now, what benefit would that make for marines if they're all transgender, transgender marines? Like, what kind of benefit would that yield? Better equipped against slumish. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ad Adam's, Adam just kind of says things that just pop into his brain, so it's really quite interesting to watch. Uh, if I if I had a, gi a giant laboratory, I'd like to study his brain and see how that, that operates. Because I'm sure modern medicine could benefit from a biopsy of his brain. Okay, hey, mate, you're onto it. Mad Max used the two door Falcon. Oh, it was a Falcon, eh? Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, I love Mad Max. Road Warriors, like the best. Um, been a while since I watched Thunderdome, though. And then, of course, Fury Road was great. 
Okay, hey, nice. Your dad loves Wes's uh, film work, but ha uh, ha uh, suggested to do the voiceover for what's planned. Okay, wait, what? What's his film work, but ha uh, ha uh, suggested he do the voice work over voiceover for what's planned. Oh, for like what uh, Jazza wants to make? No, oh, that's cool. That'd be cool if you got him. <laughs> Uh, Greenleaf, if we bottle your laugh, we could make millions. <laughs> Maybe. Might make a dollar, I don't know. If we sold it for a penny. <laughs> anyway. All right. Let's grab our Incubi Darkness. We're just going to reestablish some of the edges of the cloth. And then we're going to add a color to it to lighten it up just a bit. What are we going to add to it? I don't know. I haven't thought that far. As some of you may or may not know, I like to make this up as I go. I'm thinking maybe Screaming Skull. Yeah, maybe Screaming Skull might be what's in, in order. Okay, hey, haha, very small country, and yes, I know Hugh. Well, his wife, Deborah, more so. <laughs> uh, mine got off the lawn and into his own hobby shop. <laughs> Damn kids. <laughs> Damn kids. What is their fascination with my forbidden closet of mystery? Your forbidden closet On the of mystery? <laughs> it's a Simpsons reference. Uh, Sorry. It's a Simpsons reference. Old timeies like me like to reference Simpsons. I haven't seen that Simpsons episode. I'm sorry. Or I don't remember it. It's all right. So okay. You're uh, you're stop being old. <laughs> yeah, stop being old. Stop being stop old. Being God, why are you so old? Quit being old. Do you like being oh, old? Yeah. God. You know my real dad. <laughs> Would it be strange if I start, you know, ending videos like, and, uh, you know, take care of your brushes and um, you can still call me daddy. Please do. <laughs> Might we be crossing a boundary? I don't know, but... <laughs> It might be you ascending. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Okay. Enough goofing around. Time to get serious here. Like you were ever serious. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't make, kid yourself. Don't make me laugh, man. I'm painting. I'm trying to paint this. Do we have a... Personal horrible. We have a thing over here with the, the movements. Uh, moving cups. Yeah. A little, little, was like a cow or something. Yeah, who knows? He's a moving. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, my cup, moving cup, is of uh, Papa moving. And then people always ask me, Why'd you pick Papa moving? Because I'm fucking daddy. Shut up. <laughs> is my answer. I have a, uh, I have a moving, like, mini girl press thing somewhere <laughs> that, like, burns, <laughs> burns <laughs> moving into your. Into the sandwich bread. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting one. I thought it was funny, so I was like, I don't get it. I don't even know what the hell you guys are talking about. The Moomins? Are you Dude. saying Moomin or Mormon? Moomin. No, Moomin. Like Moo, Cow, and then Min, uh, M I N. Oh, no. I have no idea. Moomin. You don't know what a woman is? Go outside, touch grass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. No, it's, like a, it's like a uh, Finnish uh, children's cartoon. Oh. Which is very popular in the entirety of Scandinavia. Gotcha. Maybe not Denmark as much, but we, uh, as Nordics, we love it. Mm. And there's this uh, big purple bit called the Grow in English, which is which has terrified children for many years. 
Yeah. He's got badass ice powers. So it's good family she's fun. Real fucking, yeah, she's the real Elsa. None of this frozen bullshit. Bring the moon in. <laughs> and I've never watched Frozen, so I don't know. I don't get that reference. No, it's, it's, well, it's called Frozen. We're talking about the movie Frozen, or? Yeah, I'm talking about um, uh, comparing the Disney movie Frozen to the wonderful works from Finland. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going off on a tangent. Yeah, a little bit. Because I have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you know, it's not unusual for me to be completely clueless, but, you know. Sometimes I like to be a little bit informed on what the fuck is going on on this planet. Sometimes. Other times I couldn't be fucked off, too. Sometimes I wake up and I'm just... Ah, let's just kill all humans. You get all. Yeah, Chris. Yeah. You pick freaking Necrons to play with. Shit. Kill all humans. That's why I play Elder. I guess. <laughs> Necrons would work better. Kill all humans. I mean, they're more like kill everything. But... Yeah, they're more kill everything. Get with the toys, Chris. Toys. Yeah, God. God. <laughs> Nobody cares about Eldar anymore. Okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm start I'm starting to think at this point, Games Workshop ain't gonna do anything with Eldar. Yeah, the Banshees is all you got. Yeah, that's all we're getting. You're gonna like it. Yeah, you got your uh, you got your little like uh, treat. Okay, now come back in like ten, fifteen years. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And put pictures of the Moomin Cup. In Discord. It's different from the one I have, but still Moomin. Yeah, you keep saying that word. I still don't know what that means. Well, if you, if you look at the pictures in Discord, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, I yeah, need... Chris, God. Oh, man. Get with the program. Oh, it means i got to turn my head now? Oh, it's too much like work. <laughs> Those look like camp Disrupt cups. The... Disrupting the stream just for a fucking Moomin? Yeah. I mean, when does he not stop stream for something pussy in Discord? Never. I'm, uh... Okay. Yeah, that's... <laughs> those Those are cups. Those hey. are the movements. Oh, yes, Chris. It is a cup. <laughs> you put yeah. one on the side. <laughs> yeah. I, I get it. It's a cup. I, I, I get why the, there's a craze for it. <laughs> it's just a thing... <laughs> Put anything on a coffee mug and sell it to <laughs> Like my coffee cup used to be just a picture of Jesse from uh, Breaking Bad. But it was like those like change posters where it's like blue and red, kind of like, I guess it's like a not quite monochrome. It's just this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and he's making that face, like that yo face where he's like pointing, like yeah. mouth open. That's too many coffee cups. Now, did you watch that, um, the movie uh, that was, oh, fuck, what the hell was it called? Camino? With the character Jesse? The movie? Yeah. The Breaking Bad movie. No. no? I didn't know there was a Breaking Bad movie. I've been out of the loop of Breaking Bad since, like, the, you know, season's not, like, the end of the show. Yeah, the movie basically just picks up right where that, uh, that, the show ended. Gotcha. Um, I watched it. I, this is just my opinion, but I was not terribly, uh, impressed with it. Ma mainly because I... The way the show ends, 
did we really need to know what happens to Jesse? Jesse goes on continue being Jesse, I guess. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, did we really need to know exactly how this was all going to play out for Jesse? I mean, you know, the way the show ends leaves it up in the air. It leaves it kind of hopeful for Jesse. And then the movie just basically kills all that. I stopped watching after two episodes. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't really think the movie was necessary. But mind you, though, I like I'm Jesse in Breaking Bad was my least favorite character, and so I was kind of not on board for you know a story that involved him anyway. But you know, whatever. Boop, you working on anything? Right now, no. No? Okay. I'm working on slacking. There you go. It takes work to slack properly. It is effort. There is effort involved. Okay, I'm just now drinking coffee from a Moomin Pop. Papa cup got a stinky one too. St stinky. Stinky I mean, is the uh, round little blob of hair. The guy who looks like Captain Caveman. You don't know what Captain Caveman is? Okay, well, look up Captain. Type into Google. Don't worry, nothing bad will come up. Wow, at least it shouldn't. <laughs> uh, Hanna Barbera, Captain Caveman. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Of course I know what Captain Caveman is. Oh, yeah, after he Googles it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about now, yeah. I just didn't know what he was called that way. <laughs> we got Cartoon Network over here. Yeah, I, I hear you. Surprisingly. <laughs> Shit, you guys Where are... I learned most of my English. Because <laughs> it wasn't translated when it first came. You guys are going to make me fuck up my painting here. You're going to make me laugh. Yeah, and Blue Falcon. Yeah. Let's be Captain Caveman. Anyway. Yeah, I grew up on cartoons. <laughs> I grew up on Looney Tunes cartoons when most of the racism was still intact. 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 Yeah, and I remember when I was little, they they still showed the uh, Bugs Bunny, uh, Yosemite Sam Civil War one. Yeah. Or, oh, yeah. <laughs> the best is when you look up the deleted... Um, seen the clip that the, they, they pulled when I guess they were you know first going through and removing some of the insensitive stuff yeah it's like holy carmoles
Bugger got this little transition going on here. Probably because I was laughing at shit. I'll blame you guys. Yeah, I will proudly take that. <laughs> No, no, it was a little transition I was trying to build up right in this space here and it was a really abrupt step. I'm just gonna have to feather that off. Yeah, but you feather that. Oh, you feather that. <laughs> it's nice feathering off every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> Did you, did you guys ever hear this joke? Um, way back in the day, of course, you know, like, okay, this, we're going to get into some juvenile humor now, but the one where you basically, uh, you go up to a buddy or whatever and you say, Hey, you ever been caught jerking off in the closet? And if they respond, no, I said, it's a good hiding spot, isn't it? <laughs> you guys can, you guys can use that one. That's the, we'll, we'll bring that one back. <laughs> I still like the uh, jerk off too much hair grows on the palm of your hand one. Yeah, that that one's actually true. That one still fucking gets people. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, man. My palms are hairy. Look like a Sasquatch. It says you're basically Dracula. Are you sure it's from that, or are you sure you're just not related to a Sasquatch? <laughs> <laughs> Both are paws possible. <laughs> But I, I am very nearsighted. My glasses are very thick, so. Do you, do you buy a Jackie lens? The what? Jack lens, beef jerky. No. The Jack lens beef jerky messing with Sasquatch. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. Okay. Just like to make joke but when you tell him to do it you gotta freaking spell it out for him <laughs> sometimes I do that on purpose though just to take a bit of the the power out of it here's a joke Kay. that you might catch right why does the coffee regret getting up every morning? Don't know. Because it gets mugged every day. Yeah. <laughs> you can see yourself out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you <want> another one? <laughs> Someone stole all the lights in my house. I never felt so delighted. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Healthy, appropriate response. Uh. <laughs> I used to hold boop in high regard. <laughs> <laughs> you mean that illusion didn't last year when I stood up drunk? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, um, I've also made that mistake. <laughs> Showed up at Adepticon drunk? No, I mean a lot oh, of people. I, I thought I thought you meant, but oh, I, I was thought you drunk said... and late. Most people are just drunk. I was drunk and late. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it cut out. So I thought uh, you came drunk on stream once. Oh no. Uh, no, I don't come drunk on stream. Yeah, no. Come drunk. It's bad. It's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, if you can. <laughs> People who count. Oh, fuck, I'm fucking this up. <laughs> fuck. Fuck, shut up. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to doing this solo. No, I'm just kidding. Go back to doing it solo, Chris. Yeah, sure. At least, like, 90% of the stream <laughs> Yeah. Otherwise, it's just quiet. 
than you painting? No. This is way more fun. <laughs> if you really want it to be chaotic, you could one day just open it up to everybody. Oh, fuck <laughs> that'd be, no. That'd be a fucking horrible idea. You get like 20, 30 people and you're trying to talk over each other. Yeah, no, that that's that's a horrible idea. I feel like we did that once. Open it up to everybody? I don't remember if we've if we've it might had... not have been streamed, it might have just been everybody. Oh the... yeah, yeah. Well a couple times remember well like for a while there after I was doing Way of the Brush, remember I'd jump on yeah, the you would Discord. Get, you would jump in. Yeah, and then we'd all hang out for a little bit after this after uh, Way of the Brush. And that was fun. Um that's something that we could probably return to. I think. Some mayhem. Yeah, it was a it was a little bit of mayhem, but it was okay. Like yeah, like a like a good kind of mayhem. Yeah, it was you know it was good for a laugh. It was a bit like you know just kind of hanging out with everybody and everybody sharing stupid ass stories with each other. Yeah, you think I'm crazy? I'm one of the more sane monkeys. <laughs> yeah, a few of them are kind of off. I'm not gonna name any names. Rhymes with Matthew. <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> boat. Yeah, boat. Oh, damn, it didn't work. Here. <laughs> See if he or shows up. Say, or do you have to say Matthew, Matthew, Matthew? And spin around three times in the bathroom and then look in the mirror. And then look in the mirror yet? Oof, man. And then he pings you on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Poor guy. I mean, we're, here we are ripping on him. He's not even here to defend himself. To be fair, you I do don't even know him. in chat, so... <laughs> I've spoken to him, like, two times. <laughs> I feel like an asshole. <laughs> well, we're not ripping on him. All I, all I said was, boat, boat, boat. That's typically what summons him. It's worked, like, the last two or three times. I don't think I have anything here I can sacrifice. Just to see if Fine. it works. He's probably busy. He he travels a lot. It seems. It would appear. I had a uh, great day at work, and by great day I mean it was a normal work day. But I then told my supervisor that I'm not coming in as many days anymore. <laughs> no, that's good. It's good to establish boundaries. Four-day work week because I have school coming and I have other stuff I need to do. So. Do? Yeah. <laughs> what do you got to do? Uh, I gotta. What are you doing? Go to, <laughs> I gotta go to school to get smart, and I have to go to another school to uh, get become a official farrier. Mm. An official what? Farrier. Farrier. Yeah, you got me excited now talking about heat and metal. Horseshoer. Oh. And hoof cleaner. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like a, I guess a dentist for horses. <laughs> what? Teeth, it's, what? It's, it's <laughs> easy clean their hooves. <laughs> what? I don't know. What? Well, like, a farrier's job, at least in the U.S., is you you shoe horses, but you, you also. To. If you don't shoot horses, you have to, like, clean the hoof, trim the, you know, nails, or whatever. P pediatrician? Yeah, no. I guess that'd be a better. Pediatrician? I, I thought pediatrician's kids. Cleaning. No, oh, no, no, no uh, I'm, I'm thinking about it. What's the pun? Podiatrist. Podiatrist, there you go. I know words. You're basically a podiatrist for horses. <laughs> but but you don't get the title of doctor. <laughs> right. Alright. Wanna use some I'm I'm amazed with the farriers. Oosh, happy boon. 
Yeah, we're gonna throw this into the incubi darkness. Probably closer to 50-50. 50-50. Yeah, Not 350. Not 350. Oh, maybe we might have to go add a little bit more incubi. Make this more two. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a funky color. Yeah, it's a little too dark though, because I want this as my first highlight, so. Uh, shit, I gotta wash this up. I'm gonna add a little bit more incubi darkness. Bring it back down a bit. It's a little too light. Yet. It's too yeah, early to be that it. bright. I got my language class. I got so much freaking school coming up next year. It's not even funny. Well, I'm not oh, laughing. So glad I'm done with school. Well, I'm trying to question. double major in Farrier apprenticeship for school, and then language classes. That's like three different schools right there. Kim, the Patreon interaction works pretty great. Fun stuff, but God, do not let everybody in. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> no. You know, all the monkeys that come to Patreon chat need monocles, and then we can be the bourgeois of the server. <laughs> yeah. And go help us. <laughs> it's just Z. Afternoon. Afternoon. Okay, hey, pedicure for horses, cool, but just watch the new Yellowstone series and horse work is just amazing. I haven't watched Yellowstone. I'm not a huge Kevin Costner kind of guy, so I'm not like, ooh, we gotta check that out. My mother is fascinated with that show. Yeah? When she texted me uh, asking for my Hulu password, because <laughs> she's at work. And I was like, I don't have a problem sharing my Hulu account. But I was sitting there like, "What's well, your mom, man?" You're at freaking work. <laughs> oh yeah, she's supposed to be doing shit, right? <laughs> I mean, granted, she's like a supervisor, so she just sits at her desk. <laughs> I was like, "You should be freaking working." Yeah. <laughs> or looking like you're working, not fucking watching videos on your freaking computer. Uh, catching up on the latest Hulu. The one I enjoyed, kind of, uh, well, it looks like kind of a similar vibe as Yellowstone was, um, um, fuck. Longmire. That one wasn't bad. Was, it was a fun watch. I wasn't like super into it, but I would watch episodes. Well, because like I was, I was already in because well, Katie Sackoff, right? So that was an in, being a fan of of hers. Not like a super fan or anything, but you know. But um, a fan, a fan. I'll check it out, you know, and. Um, Buddy, the main character, Longmire, um, for the longest time watching the show, it was bugging me. Like, why is this guy so familiar? Because he was from The Matrix, the movies. He's an Australian fella playing a American cowboy. Which is kind of funny. Played American Cowboy a few times because he's in Death Valley days. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Bring that way down. Come on, I'm thinking 
I'm thinking I might get in back into the Lord of the Rings game. The tabletop? Because mm-hmm. I used to play it back in the day. Do you feel like you just need some more Lord of the Rings action in your life? Yeah, I need some more, I guess, traditional fantasy in my life. What's traditional fantasy? Traditional fantasy, fantasy, but not, like, too traditional. What's traditional fantasy? Very generic, I guess. I don't know. (laughs) I don't know. You're the one throwing the the word out there. something between, you know, low fantasy and Age of Sigmar. That's that's it. Throwing up more questions. (laughs) What's low fantasy? I just need to touch magic. I don't know. I what, mean, that's literally see? what low fantasy is. Yeah. It's, it's fantasy, but more, I guess, grounded in reality. So. When you say traditional fantasy, I think folklore. Well, I meant traditional as in, like, the cookie cutter, like, you know. Yeah. Like, would low fantasy be things like Beastmaster? You're not familiar with Beastmaster? No? No, because it's... I mean, it was in the U.S. Is it the Beastmaster? Sword uh, and sorcery. <laughs> I thought I thought you were gonna yeah, bust like, out. That's some old magic. people shit. <laughs> so like, there's like magic, but it might be not like a lot of magic. Not like everybody can use magic or. Uh, um, Lord of the Rings, that is low. Yep. Ish. Ish. Um, Beastmaster. I'm trying to. Oh, I'm trying to remember. Like Conan. Yeah. Okay. I like Conan. So there might be like, <clears throat> like there might be like, you know, wizards or stuff, but generally like there isn't like a whole lot of dragons or it, stuff like that. Aren't really. The fighting. Arthurian legend. That's that's some good low magic. Mm-hmm. What about a movie like Excalibur? That's a great movie. The new one with the, or how many Excalibur movies are there? I thought there was only one. Is it uh, the one with the dude from Pacific Rim? Uh, no, there's an eight, 1981 thing about. Yeah. Oh yeah, I haven't seen it, but I've seen clips. You've never watched it? <gasps> nope, but it's now on the list. Give it a watch. If you dig that kind of stuff, sword and sorcery and, you know, Arthurian legends and, you know, Merlin and... And we'll we'll even throw in a little bit of incest just for you. A little bit of what? (laughs) (laughs) The audio just cut out. (laughs) I said we'll throw in a little bit of incest for you. <laughs> Not sure how to follow that one up. I, w- I wasn't really looking for incest stuff, but okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, fucking ever since everybody was recommending I watch Game of Thrones, I finally gave it a watch, and I was like, "Geez, Louise." <laughs> But yeah, watch Excalibur. It's good. It's a good flick. It's classic. There'll be a lot of familiar faces in it. You'll be like, holy man, look how young he is in here. And, you know, shit like that. And all you old cats like me, don't don't spoil it. No spoilers. Coming from the guy who says spoilers all the time. <laughs> yeah. 
All you do is spoil shit, man. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Here's another spoiler for you all, okay? Darth Vader was Luke's dad. Whoa. Whoa. He's harsh. <laughs> <laughs> It's Faja. <laughs> Shit. Multi power sent Faja. God, that's a long time since I've seen that movie. Yeah. One of those movies. <laughs> Smoking a pancake? <laughs> Stupid movies. Yep. <laughs> what stupid lines from a movie live rent free in your head? <laughs> That's one of them. And I'm a big uh, Mike Myers fan. Yeah, he's he's a funny dude. His classic. I watched, his... Uh... Go ahead. Yeah, I watched uh, Wayne's World so much that I broke the VHS. <laughs> Tape. <laughs> That's obsessed. Obsessed much? We actually just watched that one not too long ago. Uh, Ace Ventura. Speaking of goofy classics. And after watching that movie... I can't believe that they made a cartoon about Ace Ventura. Yeah, that was con strange. Considering that there's a lot of things in the film that are not kid friendly, essentially, like right? Him, like, yeah, like him crawling through the vinyl butt. No, that well, that's part two, but um, no, no, like in, in the very yeah. first few minutes of the first film, uh, the lady he was doing a job for re rewards him with a blowjob. Yeah, but I was trying to be more kid friendly than you were. Oh, <laughs> little that man, that ship has sailed on this channel. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I YouTube and shit makes me makes me fucking fill out a little questionnaire f with every video. Is this for kids? And I have to every time. No, it is not for kids. No, I don't do kids. Get the cheese out of your ears. No. Yeah. Fuck them little rugrats. <laughs> oh, yeah. If there's anybody under 18 in chat, I get we don't want you here. <laughs> no, this is only cool Keep kids. Gates, I'm keeping it. Yeah, it's only cool kids here. Did I just hear a little thingy go off? Proto Genius for the Fala. Thank you. Thank you, Proto Genius. Proto Genius? I like the name. It's a good name, actually. He's the first genius. He's the proto. Yeah. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite lines in um, uh, Fear and Loathing. So, ah, there he goes. One of God's own prototypes. Too, sh too strange for mass market. But too rare to die. So yeah, to go back to my earlier point, uh, only cool kids here, no kids. <laughs> so if there's little kids in here, man, get the hell out. And I know my my nephews are bad for that because they'll they'll pop onto streams and they'll be hi uncle, hi uncle. It's like holy fuck, why are you here? <laughs> your 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 mums are gonna be pissed at me. I don't have to hear it from my sister-in-law or my sister. Oh my god. Why were you talking about anal bleaching on the show today when freaking kids were here? I was like, fucking, they're not supposed to be here. You were the one who let them watch. Yeah, I know. I was like, you know, you don't, you know goddamn well what kind of mouth I have. I mean, like, why are you letting your, why are you letting my nephews watch this? Don't you know I'm a terrible person? Uh, ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. 
Okay, hey, Chris worth a watch, and my friend Gil Birmingham is awesome. Rod Taylor is also a mate and is just the nicest guy. Cool. The native stuff on Yellowstone is very good and very and so true, particularly the casino stuff. <laughs> yeah, I I have no idea. I haven't watched Yellowstone. I seen that it has look at like some uh, famous uh, f or familiar, I should say, faces as far as like uh, Native American actors and such. But yeah, I'm not. I've never watched it. Unfortunately, like you know, it being a Kevin Costner vehicle is not really a huge selling point for me. Not that I dislike him or anything like that. Just I'm not the biggest Kevin Costner fan. I mean, Kevin Costner in movies, you're guaranteed to get Kevin Costner in your movie. Like, he's going to be Kevin Costner. <laughs> he's good at playing Kevin Costner. Now, watch, he's probably good buddies with him. He's like, Chris, that's... Completely inaccurate. <laughs> Oi! Geez, geez. Somebody on the tubes. Somebody on the tubes. Are we on the tubes? Sorry. Yeah. Shit, are we on the tubes? Oh no. So, somebody have a quick peek for me. Am I am I streaming on YouTube right now? Yeah. I am? I'm Luke uh, Elsie. Go dang it. I did it again. Uh, Kim, got so much stuff built, don't know what I want to paint next. Have a look in the Discord and tell me what you would paint next of them. It might help me decide. <laughs> yeah, well, I seen you just posted a picture and there's a whole bunch of shit there. It looks like some, um, uh, Slaneshi demon stuff. Do that. I like the aliens. Aliens? He's got alien aliens? Like xenomorphs? Yeah, colonial marines. Oh yeah? Oh shit, do those. Also, not live on the YouTubes. No? Okay, good. Yeah, don't do the Space Marines. Fuck Space Marines. Yeah, do the Xenomorphs, dude. Yeah, yeah do the Xenomorphs. Or do the, the uh, Slanesh Demon thingy. Yeah, do that. Thanks, Kim. I'm not on YouTube? Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, Protogenius. LOL. Yes, I know that line. <laughs> there he goes. One of God's own prototypes. A high-powered mutant of some kind never even considered for mass production. Too weird to live. Too rare to die. Yeah, that's a great line. <laughs> oh, man. Glorious day for coin. Yeah, do, do, yeah. The, do the Marines. I'm not sick of those Marines. Okay. Alien Universe is so damn cool. It is. I'm a huge fan. So am I. It, like, I, I don't know if I've, if you've ever heard me talk about it, but Space Hulk was what got me into all of this stuff. And that's because I was a huge fan of Aliens. And the original, the original artwork uh, for the box art for Space Hulk, it reminded me of aliens, right? It's a marine and standing in this dark, confined hallway, and these freaking monsters are coming down the hallway at him. And I was like, yeah, man, that's freaking, that's my jam right there. Like, I didn't say that was my jam because people didn't say that back then, but yeah. The, uh, the only movie that ever scared the shit out of me uh, as a child was uh, Alien Resurrection. <laughs> Mostly because it was terrible. <laughs> yeah, that... You know, that human-alien hybrid thing, that fucking no. <laughs> yeah, that's a little creepy. No, it's just... It's so creepy that it's cute at this point. And I saw, to my own detriment, I saw Alien 3 in the theater when that one came out. And that was, you know, I was a little disappointed in that because I was such a fan of Alien and Aliens. Two completely different movies within the same franchise. Which is, I think, what more franchises should do, you know. Don't be afraid to open up and 
explore different ideas within the the universe as it were instead of just always kind of going to the same well to get your ideas but that's just me Let's see just a little bit of glazing having trouble figuring out a color scheme for that little sensor bear uh, from my Vatican Star Trek gang. <laughs> this is a little kid with a, uh, what do you call them? It's a sensor, right? Yeah. With the, uh, the mirror and stuff. Yeah, the incense and everything? Yeah. Yeah. So I've got red, purple, and black. That's the whole, because it's going to be based off of Ghost. The band. Right. And no fucking clue. Should? I think is it she should she be like the cardinal or should she be like the rest of them? Like more red. Just red stuff. Well <coughs> excuse me. Um I if I'm if I'm if I'm chiming in on the idea. I think the, the main character, or the leader, whatever, should be distinct, bold. The followers and such should be echo similar themes. And then the menials, the very bottom, should echo sort of what the other followers are, but maybe be a little bit dirtier or desaturated or not as prominent. So you can always play with the same colors within the theme, but you can desaturate them to give them their own story, as it were. Does that make sense? Yes. Just an idea. And again, you can always try it out, and if it doesn't work, well, just paint over it. The power of painting. Yeah. There's this executioner dude who uh, the only resemblance is that he has a black executioner's cap. Uh, the rest is, I feel like he, he's the, uh, the lows of low, kinda. Probably not historically, but in this little gang, he seems to be like the, the dumb brute in the corner. He's the muscle. Yeah, he's the brawn. Well, this. Sensor bearing child, she seems to be like you know, in, in between all of them, kind of deep. Don't fucking know, man. Just paint. <laughs> Give it a shot. Yeah, that's that's also a thing. Over, don't overthink. Just do. Yeah, just do it, man. Do I look like Good a now. guy with a plan? I'm a I'm a dog chasing cars. I did a lot of movie movie references today. <laughs> I'm thoroughly enjoying it. <laughs> I do that a lot. I I wonder if an entire conversation can be carried out with just movie references. I'm sure it can. A mate of mine, my uh, former neighbor, we uh, communicate exclusively in Game Grumps references for some reason. <laughs> a lot of friends from back in the day, we can communicate in Simpson references. Bloody Scots, they ruined Scotland. <laughs> yeah. Me and my brother in law, we can do that all day. Just quote Simpsons reference back and, back and forth. It's been a long 
I've seen stuff seeing the Simpsons. Yeah, you're not missing much. You're you're not out of the loop. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite character will always be groundskeeper Willie. <laughs> do you have any grease woman then grease me up yep yeah. <laughs> that, that specifically <laughs> and, and why was it that every time he tore off his shirt he was just jacked like just shredded They never tell us why he's just, he's got the body. <laughs> All right, where are we going to get comments here? Kim, I was eyeballing Slanishy twins, but I only built one so far. Yeah, we'll build the other one. Do them, do them together. <laughs> or uh, do the aliens. I'd do the aliens. Because then, you, you know, you got them ready, and you and the family and such can, can play, you know? Ah, sounds like a plan now. Uh, Kim, my little brother turned on the VHS when he was five and I had left the aliens tape in it. He slept with the lights on till he was a grown up. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Yep. <laughs> so it, it had an impact on him is what you're saying. <laughs> That's, um, I mean, I'm not laughing at his, has his pain, but I'm kind of laughing at his pain. You're laughing at his pain. <laughs> Am I laughing at his pain? I, I, okay, I'm laughing. Let's not beat around the bush. Bro. All right. Okay, we're not beating around the bush. I'm laughing at his pain. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what a puss. <laughs> you just steered into that skin, didn't you? <laughs> ah, what a puss. He had to sleep with the lights on because he was scared of some guys in prosthetic makeup. I was going to say late pad. Latex, I. I like the bulk of the lanky dude that makes such a bar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Kim, Kim's not going to share anymore. He's going to be like, uh, my brother thinks he's an asshole, so I can't watch him no more. <laughs> I mean, he wouldn't be wrong, but anyway. Huckahey. You will like Yellowstone, Chris. Ha, Kevin gets shot up quite a lot, uh, but his daughter is well hot. <laughs> anyway, 9 to 30 here, and I'm off to the big smoke, so this child better leave the channel. <laughs> Kim, have a good one. Oh, later, dooter. Uh, okay, hey. Thanks, Kim. I have to catch up with you in Norway when I get there. I think the town I have to go to is... Well, I'm not even trying to pronounce that name. Uh, but not sure where the hell that is. <laughs> Disco, good evening. Good evening. Kim, it's where I was born. Trodenheim? Ha Trodenheim? It's in the middle of Norway. I live way up north. Yeah, Kim's at the North Pole. He, he lives with the reindeer. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it's not a stereotype if it's true, right? No, oh, yeah, no, no. They they do come in your gardens and they come on your gardens. And make, yeah, and make your dogs fucking insane. They come in your gardens. I didn't know that. Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking reindeer coming in my garden again. <laughs> Huh, interesting. <laughs> Do they find it helps with the gardening? <laughs> Fertilize. A little extra fertilizer in your garden? Oh man, your 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 roses are coming in beautifully this year. Thanks, yeah, there was extra reindeer. Semen. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what'd you do to your roses? Oh, reindeer come. Reindeer come. <laughs> I know it's such a juvenile thing to say. <laughs> yep. Anyway. 
But I'm I'm a big kid, and I'm very immature, so <laughs> I don't do think. Do we it's... ever grow up? Do we? Yeah, yes. that is the question. Because the more I talk to like my mother, um, who's you know, a good deal older than me, and I've come to realize that yeah, she still thinks she's twenty. <laughs> yeah, she's still twenty, and I'm like, God damn it, woman, grow up. <laughs> Disco. I'm in the land of original gangsters. Gang- gangsters. What are gangsters? Chicago. 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 I would say I would have said I'm in the land of original deep dish. Chicago. Because <laughs> then I'd have been like, yeah, hell yeah. But gangsters, it's like, well, yeah, it's gangsters. I mean, you know. Are we really holding them up to a pedestal? Really? <laughs> but deep dish, I'm all for that. I like deep dish. When you don't need to eat for an entire week, have a deep dish. Or poop. If you don't need the poop for the week. Kim, yeah, almost. Had a reindeer in the garden last spring. I have pics of them. Like 20 of them. Uh, 20 of them coming in your garden? Really? huge packs. I'm, um, I'm not well, sure. I'm not sure I want to see that. Oh. Well, they're not terrifying. No. Uh, watching reindeer come? No, thanks. Oh, yeah, no. Nah, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's illegal in some countries. <laughs> <laughs> but not Norway, apparently. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> that kind of bullshit, yeah. <laughs> Disco, no reindeer here. Plenty of rats of all kinds. Yeah. Blech. Rats. Ooh, man. I was... Oh, okay. We are. On the on the topic of rats, there's a goddamn video. I, I, I've been addicted to TikTok lately, and there's a goddamn video on TikTok of um, this delivery driver dropping off uh, chicken to a Popeye's. Popeyes being a chicken, uh, like a you know, like KFC kind of thing. It's it's mm-hmm. it's chicken. I'm just explaining for everybody out there who doesn't know what a Popeyes is. So anyway, in the video, he's bringing his, the package in, and it looks like the restaurant is like you know dark still. And he turns on the light, and you can see the little cocksuckers running all over the place. And I'm like, holy fuck! Like it is fucking gross watching these little sons of bitches just running all over the place and they're running up the goddamn wall and I'm like oh my lord like it's just making my skin crawl just thinking about this shit right now <coughs> what's that what were these things cockroaches rats rats little oh, cocksuckers rats, rats. cack it's really paying attention that part at the popeyes yeah it's on tiktok i'm sure it's probably on youtube as well but the guy's talking about like you know He's, he goes drops off to all over all over the place the, at Popeye chains, and then he goes to this one particular Popeyes, and there's fucking rats everywhere. I was ooh God, it was I, I'm never going to Popeyes again. Fuck it, I'm I'm not done, done. I wasn't a huge fan of Popeyes, and that just kind of sealed the deal for me anyway. Because <laughs> when I was um, similar, same topic but different story. When I was uh, driving cab. 10, 15 years ago, uh, before I was doing this, I was, I used to drive nights cause that was, you know, where the money was. And, um, I was in one older part of town and I see a little shape on the road and it's waddling like a goddamn rat. And as I'm driving up and our, our cabs were like the big, uh, like, uh, Dodge caravans, like they're vans. And, uh, I basically hit the accelerator because I'm going to run over this fucking rat. I see a rat, I kill a rat. And, yeah, I'm sorry for all you rat lovers out there, but when I see a rat, I'll kill a rat. And uh, I hit it with the van. And the van jumped like I hit a speed bump on the road. The van just like, boom! And I, I, my head almost went into the ceiling. And as I slowed down and looked through my rearview mirror, the little guy was still rolling, and he stopped rolling. And then carried on walking in the direction he was going. And I was like, oh. Yeah, I was like, oh my god. I think I upset that rat. (laughs) 
<laughs> I, I was, I was, cons- yeah, I was concerned about that, though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh, no, the, the, this, this goddamn thing, like, at first I thought it was a cat, and I was going to get ready to swerve out of the way. No, we don't got armadillos. Well, right, up there. Where, oh, this where, is where, up in Canada, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, this is up, yeah, up north in northern Ontario. Um, no, there's no armadillos. But I, yeah, at first I thought it was... You were in the U.S. for a period of time. Oh, no. Um, at first I thought it was a cat, and I was getting ready to swerve by the way, and then I recognized that it was a rat, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this son of a bitch. And then, yeah, I didn't. And, in fact, I probably only upset it. And it's When you go to sleep and you suddenly hear a noise, turn on your nightlight, and he stands there like, he's going to fix the job, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. He's going to come for payback. It's like fucking John Wick, but it's a John Rat. Yeah, but he didn't hit his dog. He on her squeaks. <laughs> yeah, either way, uh, even just thinking about it now, it's still making my skin crawl. I freaking hate mice, house mice, and rats. I hate those things. They're just fucking disgusting. Word to the wise, uh, don't play with Skaven in AOS because he's good. <laughs> What? So don't play Skaven. Well, I heard you. Because they're rat people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chris might pulverize the freaking army with a baseball. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I'm, me, I'm, you know, like, I'm not afraid of many, many things, but mice and rats will make me jump up on a chair. Like yeah. Nothing else though. <laughs> yeah, nothing else. Like I'll, I'll I'll stand my ground, but a mouse or like a house mouse or a, a rat, yeah, I'll get up on a chair and I'll scream. Like a little girl. Oh yeah, I'll just. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. Oh, I hate him. I hate him. I. Oh, fucking, I ugh. Ugh. This a uh, good point to say that I used to babysit a rat for my friend. Gross. <laughs> That's gross. <clears throat> Tell you something really strange. He smelled. He did not smell like a rat. I. I I'll take your word for I that. Yeah, I don't know why, but that little fucker smelled amazing. Domesticated rats don't smell like the rats because they're domesticated. <laughs> That's. Oh, yeah. it, it pays regularly. <laughs> <coughs> this is not easing my uh, whatever I'm feeling right now because no they're gross gross it's gross time yeah <laughs> anyway uh, Disco Aliens with Bill Paxson and Michael Ben was the best of the bunch. Yeah. Disco, I saw that video. Rats just owned the kitchen. Nasty. Oh, yeah. Oof. No. I'm, I'm done talking about rats now. They're fucking gross. <laughs> okay, hey, that's what white snow is. Mm, I always avoid the yellow snow, but hadn't thought about the white stuff. <laughs> so why is this snow all sticky? <laughs> I kind of want to bring up a certain other video. What? But um, I don't want Chris to have like a panic attack. No, don't. <laughs> don't. Oh, jeez, people dropping shit upstairs. Talking about rats, it's freaking everybody out now. I was reading Kim's comment. There's another video I want to reference. Oh, no. Chris might not have a panic attack, but he might beat you disgusting. And ban you from Discord. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I ban him. But, oh. but there might be reper- repercussions. <laughs> you dead, 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 dead. <laughs> I was going to say, have you seen the video of the subway rat dragging a piece of pizza? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. (laughs) 
Still gross. <laughs> I mean, you you all can fucking quote ratatouille till you're all blue in the faces. I don't give a shit. Every time I see a rat, I'm going to try that, and kill it. <laughs> How are you going to quote Russia to on camera? Good damn ratatouille. Good <laughs> ratatouille. Hey, Luigi. I don't fucking know. What's his name? I've seen it once. Ratatouille? I've never I've... seen it. Uh, I've, I've probably Luini? sort of watched it with my kids way back in the day, but that's it. I don't know. Every, whenever we encounter rat videos on the internet, my son always refers to them as ratatouilles. Now, mind you, we're talking about a 20-something, so it's not like he's a little kid. <laughs> Before anybody goes, oh, that's cute. He's like 20-something. He's gaming. He loves to play some games. Then he sees Gaven on the table. All these... Every, normal people would see Gaven. All Chris sees is red. <laughs> yeah. All he sees red. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs the closest to the solid object. Gross. Closest to a swimmable object. Okay, can we talk about something else now? Other than fucking rats? Yeah. yeah. As of uh, tomorrow, I'm officially done with my military service. With your military? Yeah, you're out? Yeah. Nice. So I'm delivering all my shit tomorrow. Uh, what rank do you hold? Sergeant. Oh, yeah. Wow. So you've been in for a while. And uh, what area are you in uh, the military? Well, it is, uh, you have one year mandatory service, which I was, I was in the army. Okay. Well, I started in the Royal Guard and then moved on to the army, and after that, uh, National Guard. And only, you only do service once a year in National Guard. Maybe a little bit more when you're up, uh, when you're an officer. Non-com. Interesting. And so you're 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 done done like you're, you're not going to be doing it no more and is that like yeah. like you never really wanted to progress any further or anything like that? Oh, I wanted to. I was going. I was going to go far. Yeah. But, uh, medical reasons. Ah, okay. I've been waiting for I've been waiting like three years for the process to actually start because it takes a while to uh, get out. <clears throat> Not that I want to, but I just can't continue because my body says "fuck you." Ah, uh, that's a that's a shame. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna be um, what you call it. The rank would be captain. Uh, no, we have we have talked about this because uh, I asked Boop what was uh, what was above the platoon leader. The company in the UN. Company, company, company leader. That was that was my goal. Mm. I was on my way of becoming a platoon leader, but. Uh, Turns out my immune system fucking hates me. God. But yeah, I've had fun. Also, now I have more space in my home because I'm delivering all that stuff. Did you have to go um, be deployed anywhere? Nope. No? There's no, there's no way they deploy you in your first year of mandatory service, and uh, National Guard is National Guard. Right, right, right. But I, w 
was seriously considering going into like a like a proper career, which I may have been deployed, but there were some factors here and there that were, it was not feasible at the time. So I just stayed in the National Guard and had fun there. Like too much fun or? Uh, well, we th we did some sketchy shit, but <laughs> nah, yeah, not too much fun. We uh, we drove a vehicle uh, at I'd say fifty kilometers an hour with uh, an MG on the roof, uh, shooting flares out of uh, two windows. Nice. That sounds safe. Scare the shit out of the opposition, which was the plan. Yeah, that sounds like uh, gun safety protocols are being followed. Yo, we strapped him in. Put <laughs> 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 the belt. He has a roof rack, so we just, oh, we'll just strap you in and you can sit there and fire at your heart's content. And we're, of course, blanks. We would never do that in live fire. Right. <clears throat> yeah, I considered serving a long time ago when I was younger. Didn't. When uh, that whole thing was building up uh, in Kosovo. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I almost joined then. I think uh, my uh, communications dude, he is a Kosovo veteran. But everybody on my squad is veterans but me. Do they rib you about it? Nope. It's. Yep. It has oh, been yeah, you're a the extremely good source of, uh, <laughs> of uh, you know, what do you call it? Uh, experience. Right. So I've done the school stuff, they've done the real stuff. Right. <laughs> I imagine they probably sh have shared their opinions on which would be more uh, educational. Yeah. It'd be really nice having insight in uh, what you read in the books is of course never what's or what you simulate home training never what it is in real life so they've had that insight they yeah. have that insight yeah <laughs> yeah when i was younger uh i was wanted to go into like the air force but at the time wasn't happening wasn't real realistic because of my vision at the time and at the time there wasn't, you know, correct, uh, correct surgery or anything like that. So, and, uh, if I did join, most likely would have joined the American forces just cause so much of my family's fought, uh, fought for the Americans. I've got a lot of family with, uh, military backgrounds. In what forces? Um, uh, Marines. Huh. A few in Canadian Armed Forces as well, but most of the families uh, Marines. And then, of course, you get to the Second World War, and everybody's just all over the place. But yeah. But yeah, my my family's got lots of lots of warriors in it.
100% with this cloth yet. You're not 100%? No, with this cloth. But you're some kind of percent? Yeah, I'm like 70%. I'm not sure if I'm... I'm not sure if I'm all the way feeling it yet. Have you tried rebooting your router? Uh. Come on, man. I'm supposed to be the one up here doing dad jokes. Wait, do you do you have kids, Boop? No, you're no. You're, you're still a young fella, aren't you? Uh, comparatively, yeah. <laughs> okay, yes. Compared to me, yes. <laughs> Fatal terminus. Oh Jesus. You mean the 26 young? <laughs> yeah. Well, my son's 25. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> My son's 25, so yeah. I'm old enough to be your dad. Woogie woogie. My dad's old enough to be my dad. <laughs> dad's old enough to be... Fuck, what a concept. <laughs> <laughs> my dad is old enough to be my dad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Funny how that fucking works. If I have kids, I would feel sorry for my wife because it'd be like having three kids. I'll bet. <laughs> but honestly, though, like a lot of us. Mentally, the equivalent of three kids. <laughs> <laughs> Our mature, mature. The maturity? The, the, yeah, the maturity is the equivalent to having <laughs> three kids. <laughs> but I mean, like, um, as far as like war gamers being dads and parents and stuff like that, like. I, I think we're, we make pretty good ones, don't we? Like, you know, we'll take an interest in our kids because, well, just like any good dad, I mean, buys toys for his kids and he's buying them really for himself. At least that's the way I approached it when my son was growing up. I, I, get, to, I get to play G.I. Joe's with them too. Your kids? I mean, your toys? You mean our toys. Yeah, our toys, <laughs> bro. <laughs> God, you're such a fucking communist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, my son grew up liking Voltron, and then, of course, he started getting into his own shit with, like, Pokemon and Digiman and stuff like that. All them mans. It's yeah. It's spelled, it's pronounced Pokemon, not man. Okay. Oh, Pokemon sorry. Pokemon is really different. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope so. I'm sorry, am I, am I offending anybody here? <laughs> no, I just didn't want to make some joke. <laughs> Actually. Actually. I wanted to make a joke. I just like all my jokes they went <laughs> <laughs> yeah boop don't quit your day job bud yeah. what time are we at here holy carmoles I'm not getting that special topic special <laughs> <laughs> it is 204 or 2 hours 4 minutes streaming wow yeah. I didn't realize we were already this far along and we got the cloth mostly highlighted. I'm not too sure if I'm fully 100% behind where I'm going with it. <laughs> what? Do God. it. What are you chuckling about? God damn it. <laughs> A video of Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> where it's, um, it's just like edited to where, like, all the, where he's like, you know, like all red faces, like gasping for air. Oh, like, yeah. Getting me to the boiling point, and I was like, I could, I could put this in a meme generator and go, what could see the rest? Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. God. All right. Yeah, we we we're done, kids. We're done. <laughs> we're fucking done. Ugh. It's making my fucking skin crawl. Like I'm literally crawling up the wall right now. 
I That's the only thing. I didn't know you were casted for Legion. Ugh. I, yeah, there, there are very few things in this world that will, you know, just at the sight of them will send shivers up my spine, but those things are one of them. Has nobody seen that movie? What? Legion? Legion. No. No? Okay. Does anybody remember the advert where it's like the old lady at the diner, and then she like, her head does like a 360, and she crawls up the freaking wall at the diner? Oh, Jesus. No. Legion. Is that about a bunch of angels? It's supposed to be like, you know, the end of days or whatever. Oh. Uh, I am Legion and we are many people. Oh. Uh, is that what it is? Oh. No, it's like a horror movie. Well, I didn't think it was a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't under the impression well, it was I mean, a comedy. It, it, it's a pretty cheesy modern horror movie, so it might be a comedy. <laughs> Right. Okay. Alrighty. Boop. Any last words of wisdom? There is no wisdom. Okay. There is no wisdom. Profound. Barfing? Kill rats. Make sure you finish the job. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, I can still. I Kim, shave your nuts. Uh, I can still, I can still hear the sound that the vehicle made when I hit that little son of a bitch. And I'm proud. I'm, I'm totally proud of trying to take that little rat's life. I'm okay with it. I know there's, there's, there's many people out there who this are probably like, killer. yeah, they're, they're just. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there like who are thinking like, Chris, you shouldn't be running over animals and stuff like that. And I'm like, fuck that. That was a, that was some sort of mutant rat. That wasn't even like a, a rat rat. It was, it was, it was gigantic. And it probably still lives to this day. And that was like nah, 15 years ago. Murder. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. God. Ugh. Ah. Ah. Thank God I don't have a face cam because I, I can, you guys could see my face cringing and freaking out. Fucking rats. I mean, you do. You just turn it on on Saturday. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. Ugh. Fucking rats. God damn it. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, we already did our things. We did our spiel. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. I want to thank you guys for uh, clicking that follow. And yeah, feel free to leave comments down below as far as, um, you know, what sort of projects I should be doing. Not rats. Don't you, if the first person writes fucking rats in the thing, I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. Do, do hey guys, it's opposite days. <laughs> it's opposite days. Yeah. Uh, uh, ah, ah, uh. ah. You guys are you guys are stressing me out. Stressing me out. Dun 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 That's the rat theme, by the way. Dun 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 <laughs> So you hate rats. Do you also hate seagulls since they are rats in the world? Uh no. I don't hate seagulls. Oh. I'm I'm actually okay with seagulls. Now, it's annoying when I'm trying to sit at a picnic bench and the little buggers are tr okay. flying around trying to catch a french fry, but other than that, I mean, you know, they're just trying to look for a meal. So, I was in high school, and I was sitting outside waiting for the bus, because it was like one of those field, because back when I was in high school, some classes, you could go on like multi-day field trips. Um, I was waiting with some friends for the bus to pull up, and I live, and still currently live in an area with a lot of seagulls. <laughs> Somebody that was waiting for the field trip bus nonchalantly walked up to a seagull and kicked him. Yeah, that's uh. Yeah, it's a little bit mean, but I I, I can't I can't uh, condone that kind of behavior because here I am admitting that I'm trying to run over rats and stuff. But no, it's just like you mentioning running over that rat just reminded me of that. Yeah. That's different. I mean, I, I watched, uh, I helped out my uh, family one time on their farm, and I watched a family member uh, boot the rooster, and I thought that was kind of hilarious. Because it made, like, a thick thud, and he just, like, kind of, like, flapped his wings and flew. Monster roosters. What's that? There's a chicken species where, like, I think it's, like, some kind of French, like, chicken species, 
Where, like, the rooster, roosters are literally, like, mini T-Rexes. Oh, yeah, yeah. They are. They're aggressive little buggers. Anyway, let's get out of here.